What is up guys? Today I have some Ariat work boots. And I apologize if I pronounce the brand wrong. I believe it's Ariat, but I'm not very sure. So uh Yeah, I got some work boots today for working, of course. And where's the tag? I bought them from Murdoch's 200 bucks. That is a lot. But in order for me to work, I need some work boots. In order for me to make money, I gotta work. So it's an investment, but it'll make me money in time. So anyway, here is what they are called. Work Hog XT Dare Carbon Toe. So that's the color right there. And they're wide square toe. I wear nine and a half. Uh, D medium, I don't know what that means. They have a... ATS Max Soul, which we'll talk about in a second. They are Carbon Toe, Electrical Hazard, which I believe means that they have a electrical safety rating. I don't know exactly what that means. And U-Turn Entry, which I also don't know what that means. But yeah, they're boots. So, we're going to open them up. And do I believe that these are worth $200? Well... Yes, because I bought them, and if I didn't think that, I wouldn't have bought them. So, inside, you get these beautiful, beautiful work boots. And one of the boots is going to have some tags on it. Carbon toe, area at work. Engineered for extreme environments. Blah, blah. Okay, ATS Max is just basically the sole of the boots. You also get this nice U-turn entry. I still don't, I don't understand what that means. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. So, leather bottom, leather upper, I believe. Yeah, that's leather. Uh, you do get these little vent holes. So, they don't specifically say that they're waterproof. I'm guessing they're just going to be waterproof up until here. Where you get those little vents which I'm not sure what the material is it's hard to feel it almost looks like neoprene but I doubt it is on the bottom of the boot these, this is where it gets cool so you got this sweet tread this awesome orange design to stand out and right here it says slip resisting oil resisting and no marking some good tread to these some good grip Slip resistant. I hope they do well in the snow and ice because that's what I'm going to be walking on. Ariat ATX Max. These are basically the most expensive boot that were at Murdoch's at the store that I was at. And uh, they were the most comfortable and they feel the, the most durable. So yeah, these things are pretty sturdy. Let's take a look at the inside. You get this. I don't even know how to describe that. Just a material. I don't know. Uh, your tags are right there. Area at work. Composite toe. Nine and a half size. And at the bottom. Here, I'm going to pull this out because it's hard to see. Come on, busy. Come on now. Oh, shoot. There it is. All right. There's the sole. Area ATX Max, or the cushion, or whatever it's called. Cushiony insole. That's what it would be called, an insole. And then, on the inside, just, uh, just that. But you do get these nice layers here. This is a, kind of a harder foam. That's actually really hard. And this is even harder. And then this is a hard rubber. So, but it's got three different materials. All right, I'm gonna put this insole back in and then we're gonna put them on my feet and I'll show you guys what they look like on the foot. Oh, I almost forgot the left boot. This one is designed for the left foot, see? I'm just messing with you guys. I knew you knew that, you guys are smart. Sorry, this angle's a little whack. I got you guys on the ground, and boom, just like that, they're on there. Now you can take your jeans. Now I got these, these are nine and a half, 
So they're a bit snug on me, but I didn't want them too big and loose. So they are the right size for me. So here's what they look like. I'll give you guys a couple different angles. Not bad looking boots. I mean like, when I, I brought these home and I showed my dad and he didn't even think they were work boots. Like he was like, wow, those things are fancy. Here's the top view. So, awesome boots here guys. Check out those boots, those are my favorite. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hold on, this is a horrible outro. You can't see anything. Um, let me set something up real quick. Something pretty. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. Um, I guess I'm starting to review everything. I usually do tech, but, you know, if I got some nice boots, I wanted to show them off, and I wanted to give you guys a nice little review and first look. So, like I said, subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.